you must be able to hear me now. <laughs> it's uh, my little microphone bar is, is bouncing off. Okay, now it should be oh shoot, I can hear my own voice. I don't want to hear my own voice. Just a second, I gotta turn that up. I don't want to hear myself. That sounds really weird. You must be able to hear me now. <laughs> it's uh, my little microphone bar is, is bouncing off. Oh shoot, I can hear my own voice. I don't want to hear my own voice. Second, I gotta turn that up. I don't want to hear myself. Yeah, I can just hear myself talking. This sucks. Okay, how do you how do you turn this off? Auxiliary. Oh, I'm watching the. Oh gosh, I figured it out. Don't worry about it, guys. I have it on. I have it open on on Twitch too, so I can hear my own voice. I thought the I thought the program was making was making my voice come through. There's a bit of a, a lag though. It's uh, it's lagging quite a bit behind, but that's okay. Um, I basically just want to uh, make sure this is gonna work. I don't know if we can do too much this week. Um, I want to make sure it's working. Next week, Brody's going to be here as well. Um, and he can keep me keep me busy while I'm doing this. It's a little tricky talking by myself, but um, let's see just a second here. I'm screwing this all up. See, I can't, I can't work and think at the same time. Cut. Yeah. Yeah, so basically we're gonna have, um, uh, we're gonna try and do is uh, ask questions, uh, answer some questions from you guys. I, I don't know if there's anything you, you guys wanna know. You just chat to you, like whatever. Pretty casual. Just sort of have fun with it. We wanna see if we can do this um, a little more, a little more often, because we're only, the strip's only out once a week right now. So we wanna try and, uh, try and get a few more things going. Just more stuff for you guys to see. And, Because if I could, I'd be doing this comic, you know, five days a week, but that's just not possible, right? You guys can hear me, right? I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> I'll have to work on the uh, on the lag problem too. I know it's from what I heard, it was about a five second lag. Actually, more probably, probably more, more like eight seconds of lag, which is pretty crazy. Let me simplify this. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. I can't tell is if there's anybody even even watching it or not. Is that that little eyeball means? Maybe that's what that means. Oh, good. You can hear me? That's good. That's good. It's not too awkward then. It's a little bit awkward. I'm kind of in a room by myself, talking to myself. How are you guys doing? Having a good post Halloween? Whatever day. Is it Wednesday today? <laughs> Okay. I don't usually work this slow. I got the setup's a little bit different than I'm used to. I'm I'm on a, I'm on a table. I usually work on my lap actually. And it's just the setup is where my elbows don't feel right. My wrist is bent at a weird angle too, so just bear with me. You guys are also getting to see the whole comic before it even comes out, which is pretty cool. I guess I guess that alone makes it worth it. I don't know. Oh, this is tricky. This is really tricky. I don't know if I can do this. This might take some getting used to. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is taking me a few minutes. I gotta, I gotta change my setup. I gotta move this laptop around. Maybe if I stick it on my lap, I can actually use it, right? Let's see here. Oh man, I gotta 
show me here with my microphone. I got so much stuff on this table. Okay, there goes my floor again. Um, okay, just a second. I'm trying to wreck your ears with this microphone dropping. There we go. That's a little better. I like that line. Oops. Um, so usually, usually when I'm drawing these things, it's it's pretty rough. I mean, the um, um, it's a lot easier working in pencil. Pencil, you can put your lines down wherever you want, good or bad. You can kind of uh, work them out. Um, the way I draw with the with the tablet, though, it's 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 a little tricky. It uh, Kind of do straight lines like this. I'll try to show you on um, Solvent's face here. I'll try to do a, a nice, I'm not showing it off very well, but kind of a nice, I usually don't do it that many times, but a nice line like that. Like a nice, there we go. It's a little better. You know what? Let's just do it a bit sketchier. I'm not getting very far here. This might take a few hours to finish this one off. There we go. Um, don't laugh at me, guys. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. <laughs> here, once we get going here, I'll, I'll speed up quite a bit. Um, So quite a bit happened this week, as you guys know. If you're watching the Penguins, you're keeping up with the Penguins. It's been a busy week once again. Um, I feel like we've covered the the uh, Niemi stuff pretty good. I don't really want to do anything else with that. Uh, had another blowout. We had some Halloween stuff. Um, it's always it's always kind of tricky knowing what we want to what we want to cover in a given week. Oh shoot, I'm really screwing this one up. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go, that's a little better. I think my Sullivan's changed <laughs> every time I've drawn him. I don't think I've drawn him the same twice now. I'll have to dig up a few pictures of him and just see. Uh, he's... Uh, <laughs> I do know I've never drawn him happy. He's been grumpy in every picture. Every comic he's been in, he's been uh, yelling or, or frowning or hitting somebody or something. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? You guys have any questions? You have anything you want to, uh, anything you want to ask or you want to know? Just make fun of me. You can make fun of me if you want to. I don't mind. Oops. I don't usually spend that long on one face. But uh, yeah, this week we have um, we got Coach Sullivan. I really wanted to add Sullivan again. People have been asking about him, um, especially now that we've what, dropped another another stinker of a game a couple nights ago. Um, he's always a fun one. I just like drawing him yelling and screaming. And I don't know if you recognize him. Maybe you caught the text it's hard to read my writing. Um, I'm adding, uh, where is he here? Oh yeah, Gonchar, I got Gonchar back, assistant coach Gonchar. 
He's back in the mix again. He's got a strange kind of face as well. Ah, now well, circles are tricky. Circles are hard. face hmm yeah he's uh I kind of like the shape <laughs> I was looking at his I was looking for reference pictures of him too every picture I found he has these crazy eyebrows and they just kind of they kind of swoop in from the tops and they made me laugh I was on Google laughing I was like oh man I need a good picture of this guy everyone I found had the funny funny little swoopy eyebrows Oh shoot, that was a funny line. Let's not do that. You know what? Let's go right up to the top of the eye. There we go. He's got this bald kind of. Ah, come on. Balding kind of shape in his head. Oh, come on. I gotta hit that. There we go. Some ears. I might have to get that reference picture out again for this this hair. I think it's it's pretty sparse on the sides, and then it kind of uh, well, what happens there? It kind of goes up. Let me get that line right. That's too much. It kind of goes up and then out like this a little bit, but not like not like that. Just nicer looking, but. I'll have to find that reference picture again. Yeah, that's it. Never 100% happy with these faces. Even even Phil, drawing Phil, he looks different in every picture I draw him in. He's a little bit chubbier in some, a little bit uh, thinner in other ones. Oops, that's a little one. That's part of a panel. He doesn't look very much like Gonchar in that one, but that's okay. Um, my voice must be coming through still, hey? It must be. Are you guys still there? I can't. E I can't even tell if people are in the room or not. It looks like there's total views zero, and then uh, that's the only thing that shows up on my on this page. I don't know if. I mean, we'll get this all figured out. Brody's done a few more of these than I have. I don't really use Twitch. I've done a few Twitch streams here and there, but nothing much. Oh, you're still there. That's good. That's good. If you can see the people icon. The people icon. The eyeball. Oh, okay. Eyeball is total views of the channel. I'm not getting the people icon. Where is... Is it supposed to be down near the eyeball? Hmm. Events. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Well, that's okay. I mean, you guys, there's names in the chat, so I'm assuming that means you're there. Followers only chance. Hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyways. I mean, this week's going to be a little bit, this is going to be a bit sketchy anyways. I'm not sure how long I want to keep doing this, but... Uh, I just want to make sure it's working. Skype's going to be tricky to get going. Um, Brody's about 1,500 kilometers away from me right now, so it's a little bit tricky to get him on the line as well. But we'll see. We'll figure something out. Ah, let's keep going. 
so much more damage I can do this one. Okay, I'm gonna try this profile view. I really like this. <laughs> I'm trying to screw up his nose. I really like the uh, this angle. Um, a few of my oh, that's not good. A few of my favorite um, drawings I've done have been uh, the fill from the the profile like this. It just makes me laugh when I see him. You just get that bulging eye kind of deal. Oh, that's a bit much. There we go. Ugh. Okay, let's try to let's try to do this good here. It's. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna. This is gonna be the grossest comic you've ever seen before. Everyone's gonna wonder why it looks so bad this week. Oop, too big. Uh, full-time career no um it would be no it'd be nice if it was um i uh I, i'm full-time nurse on the side i work at a, an old folks home in town here and uh it it's keeps me pretty busy i mean i'm out of the house most of the time um, i do work night shifts and that's where i get a lot of the artwork done um I work 12 hours so it's i kind of uh do a lot of the artwork at at night time so I'm, we're, we're trying with this uh, live stream. We're gonna try and uh, do a lot more um, art live. It's, I mean, you figure you get you get twice, you know, twice the con. You get the, the comic strip plus you get to watch the being made, which is kind of a cool thing as well. Um, especially if I can't find the time to do more than you know one strip a week. Um, but no, it'd be nice if it was full time. It's just you know the money's not really in cartoons. It's it's, it's tricky to make a living at this kind of stuff. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, right? You never know. I make a bit of money in commissions and stuff as well. I get a lot of custom art pieces that go out. Um, especially last year when we uh, we won the cup for the second time. I had a lot and a lot of requests for uh, for Penguin stuff. I did quite a few different little little projects. It looks like, a, like an eagle or something in that picture. I don't like that. Let's switch this up a little bit swap that nose out for a better one there's things that work in pencil don't really uh <laughs> yeah you're welcome <laughs> things that work in pencil don't always work oh my gosh um oh my what did i okay how did i make this look good on pencil i like the pencils i don't like the inks what's going on here i'm just destroying that looks really weird i'm just destroying his nose let's try to uh Oh, okay. That's you know what's you know what's screwing me up here. This mouth is in the wrong spot. Nobody look for a second. I'm gonna cheat. Here, I'm gonna back it out here a little bit. Something's off about this, and I don't know what it is. I think it needs to be down. It's gotta come in like something like that. You know, he's got a weird face shape in general. Um. Yeah, that's good enough. That'll do. Speaking of weird face shapes, how about this dude here? You never know what to do for these guys. He's got a stubby little... <laughs> little nose. I don't know. That's good. That's good. What's his? What's he saying up here? Hey, Kellen, I've seen you around quite a bit on Twitter. Um... What do you do? What's what's your kind of what's your line of work? What do you do? If you don't mind. The eyebrow on this dude, man. I like to get a big. Oh, let's get this looking good here. That's good enough. Um, where's his eye line? I think the audio gap is about maybe 10 seconds. It's so hard to, it's so hard to know. Full-time student. Assistant golf professional. That sounds really interesting.
is it assistant assistant to golf professionals like you're like a, like a caddy kind of deal or is that something else yeah i think you're right i just find it weird asking a question and then um knowing my voice is going out about 10 seconds later and then having to fill the audio in between it's just a weird it's a weird concept i don't quite like it there we go Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. I should come down for lessons. I, I'm terrible at golf. I used to do it back in the day. Not on a real golf course or anything. We kind of had a, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a mini, is it called, is it called mini putt-putt or something? I don't even know. But it's, uh, they're all par twos and threes. And there's, uh, they're really, it's a really easy golf course. I was pretty good on that thing back in the day, but I haven't done a real golf course. Not myself, anyways. I've gone with people that have golfed, but it's a, it's a talent. It's it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one to do. Consistency is hard. I can hit it. I mean, I play hockey forever, right? So I can hit it pretty hard, but accuracy, no way. No way. Let's beef up these eyebrows, right? The forehead <laughs> it's like a ski slope oh my gosh <laughs> so this comic looks completely different tomorrow you'll know why you'll know why i've come back and fixed it all <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, golf is all about it's about knowing your your um your clubs, right? And and distances and all that stuff and um I have been playing golf story a lot on the Switch. It was Reddit highly recommended it, so I I just picked it up. It was it was cheap and I've been playing that thing like crazy. I've gotten really good at fake golf. But I mean, I could never hit like that in real life. But that feeling when you when you pick your club and you just you just nail the nail the green, oh man, that's such a cool feeling. Someday, guys, someday. I can give up this comic nonsense and do some real golf. Oh shoot, I was gonna look up. Uh, I've gone char in a uh, trainer's uniform. Um, the back isn't too important, but the front, I don't know what the front of a, you know, a front looks like, those, those silly uniforms. I'll turn the chat, I can't, I'm going to turn some chat sound on. Is there a, there's going to be a ding or something for the chat, hey? Maybe not. Oh, well, I'll get Brody to figure this all out for me tomorrow. So as you can see with this uh, with this strip here, um, I've made a template. I've been doing this forever. I mean, um, you kind of find shortcuts here and there. This is a, a template I built especially for this comic, uh, for season three especially. Um, all the layers on the side here, you kind of have, sorry, I should have explained this. Before. I'll explain next time when, I, when we start the official streaming too. Um, but I have all my layers over here and it kind of uh, keeps everything contained. I just started for the season putting up borders as well so if you look i turn the borders off there's a lot of inks that go past the boxes which you don't want so i turn borders on and it just takes all away i basically just added a white space in between all the panels and you can draw underneath them and stuff and yeah i got my sketch layer 
ink slayer, turn it on and off. Pretty basic stuff. Um, just got it down to a system that I like and a system that works really well. So I'm just going to keep it at that. Yeah, you're right. The, it's, it's the uh, slap shot is very similar. Um, I'm not good. I, I don't have a very good slap shot. Uh, my golf swing's better than my slap shot, which is kind of odd to say. I'm a goalie more so than a, than a player, though I don't really play out very much anymore. But you're right, it's the same. Don't look, I'm cheating again. Often I'll, I will do this. I will grab a face from a previous panel just to, just to keep it consistent. Um, I don't always do this, but it certainly helps. Goalie problems, yeah. Tell me about it, man. Last night, well, not what day is it? Wednesday? Uh, Monday night. Uh, playing with the usual guys, and I had a guy come up on a partial. It was a partial break. I mean, the guys could, guys could have gotten in the way. If defense should have been there, kind of deal. But came up on a partial break and shot it right up in my face, got right in the chin. And <laughs> it's never happened before, but he broke my dangler. It was the weirdest feeling. He. Uh, snapped it right off two strings two strings blew off my uh my mask and everyone right away thought i was you know concussed or thought i was dead or something it was crazy they all came running up to make sure i was okay um but it was like i was shocked i heard a, I heard a snap and i thought it was my neck or something but it didn't, it didn't I, there's no pain at all with the hit but i looked down my dad there was just just falling off basically so we just tied it up when the zamboni run around it was pretty crazy Oh, you saw that one, yeah. I know, I, it, the, the sound was worse than it. It didn't hurt at all, but the sound was crazy. It snapped. Um, on the on the zoom in as well, you can see uh, the back plate of my, my mask just snapped right back. It looks so horrible. I'm really glad I got it on camera. I complained to my parents about <laughs> all my sports injuries, and they're always like, oh, yeah, okay, it's... That probably hurt kind of deal, but <laughs> like you show them the video, then they know. Oh, what am I doing? I got carried away with talking about sports injuries. I don't usually, like I was saying, I, I, I copy the face shape more so, but um, I'm being a dummy head and I'm copying his expressions too. I don't want to do that. It's a different expression in this panel. Um, often what you'll see in a lot of these, uh, a lot of comics is uh, the copy paste, but then um, what you wanna do, you don't wanna be copy and paste. And there's, there's comics that copy and paste, copy and paste. The whole strip is just, you know, the same face, different word bubbles. But if you are gonna copy paste, you wanna make sure you change up a little bit. Like sometimes I'll grab the head and, and twist it just a tiny little bit, just to move it around a little ways, just to, just to liven it up a little bit. copy and paste in general it's, it's a nice tool but you can't overuse it or someone will call you out it's the internet right everybody notices everything yeah I would hate to get some bones snapped in that area of my of my body Last year I took a puck to the neck too. That's why I started wearing the dangler. I never used to wear one before. Um, never had a problem. A lot of the guys I play with are beginners and don't shoot hard. I started with a, a new group a few years ago. That's uh, a lot of ex uh, junior players and some really good heavy shooters and stuff. And uh, I took a shot right off the side of my neck. So it was off of the, the Adam's apple. Sort of in that, I don't even know what the body part would be called. Kind of the muscles in your neck there, that big, you know, that big... Uh, big band of muscle inside your neck I hit right there and uh, started blacking out that one was pretty scary so I showed up at work the next day and everyone told me I, I told the story and they're all like well, you should have been wearing a, were you wearing a neck protection did you have a, have a dangler and I was like no I didn't 
so I got crap for that for about a year. So now I wear one every week. I really haven't been injured in a while. Oh my goodness. Watch what'll happen tomorrow now. <laughs> Who else is in our chat here? Nahelia? I think I said your name wrong, but... You must be from Twitter as well, I would assume. I didn't really post this anywhere else. Reddit, I guess I posted, but nobody goes there. I just... <laughs> yeah. It's ball hockey tomorrow, so it'll be okay. Unless the ball freezes. Last year we lost... Uh... Oh, I brought, I brought five new hockey balls from uh, Canadian Tire and all five of them shattered in the, in the ice. It was it was horrible. We play inside but there's no heat in the gym and they all snapped and broke so I could have died. You can always die of ball hockey too, right? Gotta keep your options open. So I, initially uh, I had a comic <laughs> I had a comic penciled out where Steve Sullivan Mike Sullivan, what am I talking about? Mike Sullivan um, goes for the to the Halloween party as a happy coach, you know, because he's not a happy coach. The joke is he's going as a happy coach, and I thought that's ah, not that great. It's it's kind of funny, but whatever. Um, so I I th I'm throwing it in at the end of the, of this comic as kind of a, a throwaway joke. Um, I was looking at Gonchar trying to figure out if he was going to go to a Halloween party. What do he wear? He looks a little bit like it, so we're gonna. We're giving him the it treatment. Let me see if I can get this face looking right. He's kind of got that big forehead kind of deal. I drew him once before. Let me see if I can throw this file up. I'm not going to show you my secret files. Don't worry, guys. Which season was that in? Was it season one? I think it was season one. Uh, where is he here? I've only drawn Gonchar once before. Where is he? Oh, it's this one here. I'll let you see this. Yeah, there he is, right there. <laughs> I kind of looks. I guess it kind of looks similar to what we have going. Like, wh why? Why did we give muscles to? That's I don't know. I shake my head at a lot of these old comics. He's kind of got a similar looking, looking feel to him. Okay, let's get this hair right. Come on. Now oh, he's got a big forehead, but you know what? He's got bigger eyebrows. Let's give him some big eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little nicer. Give him some of the Pennywise teeth. Have you guys seen that movie? My goodness. I am not a a horror movie fan. I, I, I enjoy them. Actually, I can't say I don't enjoy them. I do enjoy them. But I've never been to a horror movie in theater before. Um, it's my second one, actually. I, I saw Conjuring 2 with, uh, with Brody last year. November, I think, last year. Um, my goodness. I did not sleep that night. And this one, too. Man, I did not sleep. It's not... I've been hearing it's not as scary as other horror movies, but man scared me I don't even mind clowns I could, I could look at clowns all day long oh I'm going to put in the uh... wait what oh no Oh shoot, I've been drawing in the wrong layer. How long have I been doing that? <laughs> so this happens to me maybe once. Jeez, <laughs> oh, did I do it? it? Happens to me maybe once a month. I start drawing in the wrong layer and I just totally get myself all screwed up. So if you look here, I'm, I'm on the sketch layer. So everything that disappears is garbage. And I just drew on the garbage layer. So I got to throw it all away. What I will do, I kind of like, I kind of like where that one was going. Let me just redraw everything here. I jinxed my drawing as well, so let's go back to where we had it there. Let's, uh, I'm gonna have to trace over top of this one. 
that's okay it's fixable see this is why I can't I can't draw and talk at the same time it just screws up my mojo I'm never gonna hit these lines again I know it was I was looking okay I can do better Sometimes I have a really good sketch and I just totally F it up. There we go. I actually like this a little bit better. Am I on the right? I'm on the right layer, good. So Kellen, is it you that's going to the, the Vancouver game? I think we've talked about this. I think it was. I think it was you. Someone's gonna meet me there, or something. I don't know. Nice. Saturday. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we're leaving on Friday. Friday morning, heading down there. It's gonna be crazy. My whole family is going. My whole entire family is going out. We have eleven people, I think, go through with tickets. Originally, it was. Uh, thank you. Yeah, but my wife and I are gonna go. My uh, two da two daughters are gonna go as well. And I said, you know, I'm gonna fight Brody because Brody's been a uh, Penguins fan for um, as long as I have too, and we're both super excited about it. So he's like, I have to go with you. So he was coming with his girlfriend. And then I'm like, you know what? I, I, I got family down on the coast too. I'm going to ask if they want to come along. Yeah, they're coming now. So let's you know, add like six more people to it. My parents are going to go now too. and We have a whole section. I forget which section though. We're, we're, we're in 2-0 something. Way up in the nosebleeds. It's going to be so much fun. January, Ponda. Uh, <laughs> it it is. Is is Pond? Are you talking about the Honda Center? Are you in Anaheim? And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get some some of Phil's DNA. Don't tell him. I'm gonna try and get a swab or something of him. I'm gonna clone the guy for our comic. How funny would that be? Honda Center, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it down there. We went down for Disneyland back in 2004. Yeah, 2004. I was just out of high school. Man, that was fun. We all thought we were going to be famous. I was so stupid back then. Going to Leafs first, Ducks. Oh, you're going to the game tonight. Oh geez, yeah. What's gonna happen with that? Have Lee have Lee's been doing good lately? Have they won? I know the Ducks have been pretty good all year. Yeah, Austin Matthews is gonna be all over the scoreboard. The kid's nasty. Yeah, no, I know they, they they like to they freak out so quickly. It's insane. Um, I usually check out. I have TSN bookmarked over here, so I'm usually watching the highlights and stuff through TSN. But man, anything happens, it's all Leafs. It's all Leafs. It's all Oilers. I switch over to the Penguins highlights, and I get you know catching up with the Penguins now in the third period, and it's like you know four nothing or whatever. They don't even show half the highlights anymore. Back in the day when. You know, all the Canadian teams were terrible. They used to show full highlights, but now that the, you know, they actually have teams that win, we're starting to see more of uh, more of their stuff instead. I mean, it's nice if if, if can Canadian teams are winning. That means more money is going to the NHL, and they are the business is better in that way. And they've been losing so much money recently. 
Yeah, it's just insane. It's just insane. What's I doing with this arm here? Let's cut him off at the elbow. I still haven't looked up what these penguins things look like. Let me look look one up here real quick. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna go. So it's what like a that's a coach's what is that? Coaches, penguins, coach during practice maybe. I believe the amount of stuff I have to look up for this. Oh, there's a picture of uh, what's his what's his pickle right there. I'll pull this up so you guys can see what it looks like. There's my guy. Let's uh, copy that. Oops, throw this back over here. Over here, come on. Put it right here. You know what, Gino? You could just get out of the way. We don't need you. Where's the other nurse? There we go. I'm just going to throw this near somewhere where I can see it. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? I got two. I got two screens. <laughs> I often, um, often making the comic like I was saying. I, I like to grab. I like to grab uh, reference material and stuff and just chuck it on the screen. Um, usually I work this way. I can, I can look over, grab what I need, and come back over here and you know back and forth, back and forth as I need to. Um, but I have a second screen, so I could just throw it over there, but I'll just leave it here. Why not? You guys can kind of see what I'm doing then. Um, now what am I doing? I kind of, this collar doesn't really match up to that one very well. It sounds kind of something like that instead. You know, I'm going to redo it. Let's redo it. So people op often ask, what's the most difficult part about doing these, uh, doing comics based on a, on a hockey team, doing comics based on real people? It's the costumes. It really is. I know you don't believe me, but it's definitely the costumes. Um, when we switch to our... Uh, our new, our, well, we had our, it was our, it was our third jerseys originally, but we switched over to the, to the the nice jerseys full time. Man, that was that was tough. I tell Brody all the time, like you have no idea how hard it is to draw a Penguins black jersey. It's not just the, I mean, you can't just you don't just draw it. You have to account for the different stripes going across and lining it all up, and your inks have to have to be working. It's, it's a lot of a lot of, a lot of hassle. This thing isn't too bad. I'm just gonna probably go like, oops, not like that. Kind of like this. It goes underneath the collar a bit too, doesn't it? It's kind of like, oh man, that looks horrible. Um, this process, um, let's see. So sketching this out, let me, let me show you the sketch here. This sketch, um, took about maybe 20 minutes to do um, yeah your terminology is fine it's yeah it's the thinking you gotta think of the thing I, I, I talk with Brody I go on Facebook and chat with Brody and figure out what he wants for this week and what I want and what he thinks is funny and which things we shouldn't touch you know like there's certain jokes we don't want to we don't want to go for um, so the sketch takes about 20 minutes Inking, I'm usually done by now. Um, inking this page, there's really not much for backgrounds going on in this one, so this takes about half an hour usually. Um, I throw color in there. I do a bit of uh, the fonts and stuff are really quick. I put the bubbles in, I do the backgrounds. You know, maybe in total two hours from start to finish. It's it's really pretty quick. I kind of buzz through it a bit faster too. Um, this might take me a bit longer. Yeah, it's 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 all the combination of everything just kind of slows it all down, but that's totally fine. I mean, if if you guys are getting some from this, that's that's what I'm doing it for. I want you guys to feel like you're kind of a part of it. It's kind of it's kind of 
It's fun. Oh, geez. How big is that hand? No, that's good enough. <laughs> Some days I, I start drawing a hand and then I, I look, I zoom out and the hand's about <laughs> twice as big as his face and I gotta redraw it. That's always embarrassing. Uh, comic wise, how how uh, familiar are you guys with uh, with comics and stuff? Do you guys read comics on the side? Is it just the fill? Is it you know? Do you have other ones that you read on a day to day basis? Just wonder what I all need to, what I can all tell you guys and what you already know. Oh. Oops. I'm hopefully having a, a few comic, just comic fans in general. I have quite a, quite a network on Twitter. Everyone kind of chats and promotes each other's stuff, which is pretty cool. So hopefully get a few of them on here when we do this for real next week. And they'll all make fun of me on Twitter. That's okay, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to block them all. I'll just block everybody. Yeah, a bit of everything, eh? I was huge into uh, Calvin and Hobbes. Um, Garfield was a big one. I will always love Garfield. What else is out there? We had Herman in the house. You read Herman? It's okay. It's not that great. Ma oh, manga too. Yeah, yeah, manga. I haven't read a lot of manga. I, um, I'm trying to get through One Piece. It's, it's hard to find books of One Piece around here right now. I have the first the first one. I need to find like a whole collection on eBay or something. But yeah, I love some good manga. Death Note, I love Death Note. Didn't read the book, but man, I watched the anime for that. I'm not talking about that new TV show either. Or the TV movie, the Netflix movie. I'm not talking about that. I ain't talking about that one. It was okay. I'm just not talking about it. It's crazy, hey? It's so crazy. And they work incredibly fast too I should just stop talking and just draw, draw so you can see what the actual uh, <laughs> see how long it actually takes rather than just me goofing around oh shoot where's it gone I need a picture of his hair again coach Gonchar there he is oh it's just kind of a shit it's not even he's, that he's balding it's just kind of you know shaved tight to his head so maybe what I'll do is just uh, give him a rounded thing here and just sort of work some hair in I like to just do a little peak of hair on the top here just as a how you do <laughs> doesn't look anything like Gonchar, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's fix this one, too. <laughs> oh, man. If uh, <laughs> if tomorrow you see just a, a picture of uh, Gonchar's face photoshopped onto the comic, you'll know why. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. That's how you do it. Let's just ride that one up to the top. There, that's not bad. Well, I want to show you guys how coloring looks too, but I don't have time. I'm gonna, I might just finish this tonight a bit later. I'll just, uh, I'll show you guys how I do this. So, um, I work in layers. Layers makes it easy. So if I, if I'm doing my colors, my colors aren't gonna screw up my inks. I want to do it separate, so I'm not gonna run into problems. Oh, come on. So I'll do a new layer. You don't have to name them, but I like to name them just to keep them so I know what I'm doing, keep track of myself. 
Uh, I turn off my white, get a blue background. Now I have the whites down. I can see exactly where my whites are gone. Otherwise, you can't see. Sorry, that's grade school, grade school stuff. Um, I try as often as I can to close my lines. Like you'll never, you'll rarely see an open, you know, open lines like that. I, I don't usually leave them. Um, if I do leave them, I have to color my hand, which kind of sucks. Otherwise, I can just fill. Like this one here, I can just fill that because there's no open, open holes in it. Phone. Um, what else I got here? That's black. That's black. Teeth. Fill that up, would you? This is his determined Russian look. I like it. That's it. I come through and I do my colors, my whites first, and then colors after. I usually do one at a time. Um, it's a pain in the butt switching between colors. Um, over here you can see my ooh, there my city folk colors. I have those laid out. Those are the colors I use most often. Um, all the fills colors are in here. The penguins gold is in here. Uh, skin colors and stuff are mixed in there as well. So that just saves me a bit of time again. I don't have too many. I used to have a whole bunch and my computer crashed and I lost a bunch of files and stuff. But I'll just work it back up. I usually work it up to about 20 or 30 different colors. Here's my standard Caucasian. So I have it set to behind. You can see on the bottom, it's set to behind so I can draw um, behind. It won't cover over any other colors. So this skin color won't affect the white, which is super nice. I can just color it up against it like this and there's no, no harm done. And I'll often have to come in and fill up little holes like this. It just happens. So I, I don't know what Brody's on next week. He'll I, I think I'll let him be in charge of uh, <laughs> what we're gonna talk about. It's it's tricky to to think things. I'm trying just trying to work and talk at the same time. So it'll help a lot to have a second person kind of going um, with me. Um, but that'll be next week. I'm going to try and give a little more notice. That's why I didn't give too much notice this week. I didn't want it to, you know, to be too full of people and too crazy in here. Oops, what am I doing? Wrong. A bit darker for his skin. Um, I just want to kind of work out a few kinks. I think I got most of them figured out. Um, just Skype is going to be tricky next week. Brody couldn't be here because he's buying a new car. If you were wondering, that brand new 2017 something. He told me he should drive here in his new car, but he didn't want to drive 14 hours. So I called him a baby and I hung up on him. Where's that? Hmm, it's gonna change this face. Oh, wait, I should grab the. I should grab its face. Yeah, let's go to 2017 because he's way better. It clown. Shot my pens in my mouth again. Okay. Oh man. Okay, his face is pretty much white, hey, with that bit of a red thing coming up through his eyes. Does he have a red nose, too? Okay, red nose, red lips. Okay, that's easy enough to do. Let's just, let's just do it, right? White face. Um, and now, throw some red on there. So we're going to go with the... He does, hey? I think he would have been a better Pennywise than old what's his face, old uh, Scarsgard. Okay, red nose. Shoot, big old red. I say, I say, I've been saying big old a lot lately. 
Um, my daughter's three years old. That was her one of the first phrases she picked up. And she's been saying it like crazy lately again. I don't know why she picked it up again, but she's been saying it like crazy. It just kills me every time I hear it. Um, oh, that goes into his mouth. Okay, that's really weird. So it comes out of his mouth, kind of like that. That's probably, that looks, oh, no, not a black, no black. Doesn't he have yellow eyes or something too? Oh, parts of his eyes are yellow. Okay, okay. Just the pupils maybe? Well, let's see what it looks like just coloring out the, the whites. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I like that. I was going to make the pupils just yellow, but I like that better. And his hair is kind of an orangey. Not that color. Maybe kind of like that. Where's the picture? Oh, it's kind of a... Yeah, I guess it is kind of that color, hey? There we go. Something like that. That's good enough. I'm trying to find some music for next time too. I'm in the basement. It's so lonely and quiet down here. It's just my own voice. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So in uh, in previous in previous years, let me pull this up here. Um, I would do a lot of shading as well. I'm not doing that as much this year. I've been finding it it just adds to my time. Like I was saying before, um, a good a good strip will take about um, you know, two hours. Um, previous years, if I was shading and stuff, it would add another half an hour, hour, you know, two hours sometimes, depending on how much shading I had to do. So I've been. Uh, I've been not doing the shading. Let me see if I can find a strip here for you. This one's not really a good example. There's not too much shading in that one. Um, yeah, music would would help. I know there's uh, a few other streamers that do some music as well. I'd like to get into that as well. I just don't want to get sued for something. Though. Is there shading in this one? Yeah, a little bit, minimal. Very minimal in that one. I guess I've kind of slowly moved off the shading a bit. Let's go back a season to season one. There, yeah, this is, this is a good example. There's quite a bit. If you look, um, how do I zoom in? Yeah, right in here is a lot of shading. I, I if, you, if you look really, I mean, you can't even tell once the filter's been put on, once everything's been added, there's so much extra shading and work that goes into this that nobody sees, nobody cares about. It's really not worth all the extra effort. Um, I mean, there's the phone lighting up his face. No, the shading barely shows up with the, with the filter on anyway, so what's the point? Um, yeah, I've been, I've been cutting it out, and it's really been... I haven't missed it. It's saved me a ton of time. This is season one. First, this is the first strip. When we started, we didn't really know if we were gonna keep going with it. Um, but man, it, it blew up. Uh, we posted on Reddit. It blew up like crazy when Phil Castle was traded. It was pretty pretty dark in, in Pittsburgh right around that time. I think Phil Castle was the only positive thing going. And yeah, it is cool to see how, how far it has come from this. I mean, Phil looks quite a bit different. I, I like this face down here. This one over here too. I kind of like that big doughy eye looking face, but you know the hair is off and the he's he's changed quite a bit. And he's probably gonna keep changing too. I mean, nothing ever stays the same. Yeah, that face is a bit different. But yeah, we'll probably keep doing it until it's not fun anymore. Move on to something else. Brody suggested possibly doing a <laughs> doing a new one, move our fan base over to, to Vegas and do a, a strip called The Flower, but I don't know. I don't know. That seems kind of crazy.
Um, well, if you want, if you want to see shading, let me see. Uh, let's see here. This is how I've been doing shading lately. I still shade for a lot of um, um, commissions and stuff like that. I don't so much do it for the general strip anymore. I've just been leaving it out. Um, so I don't, yeah, if you yeah, you guys don't know much about the Photoshop. Uh, I'm inking and all that, so I'll just kind of explain what I'm doing here. Um, so I have my color layer, which is all the color you can see. I can turn on, turn off. Uh, I'm doing a, a layer on top of it. This is a, it's called a mask, or an, it's an adjustment layer. That's what it was. So this layer only affects what's below it. So if I draw, let me see if I draw here. I'll turn this back up to where it was. 100%, 100% black. So if I'm drawing 100% black, it's only gonna draw on the color, which is super cool, right? So I turn that into um, to shading. So I do, I want the black, I got black and white. I'm gonna turn down the opacity down to about 20. And now I can come in and instead of drawing a straight black, it's only gonna draw on the color still, but instead of straight black, it's gonna be 20% of black, which is that color. And it's just dark, basically all, it is, all it's doing is darkening the colors. You do that all over the whole comic, and if I want to increase the, I want to make the shading more dramatic. Where's my cursor? I can bring it up, bring it down. I can affect whatever I want for that. But I've been keeping it at twenty. I think twenty is a good, um, a good level to keep it at. It's kind of noticeable, but not too noticeable. You don't want it too crazy. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I don't generally do this for uh, the main strip. It's just too much work. I mean, you got four pictures and going in, there's people in the background and it's just, it's, it's, it gets to be too much. Um, you can do white as well. If you want to do highlights and stuff, usually on bald foreheads, I like putting a big splotch of uh, reflection, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's, um, what time is it now? Let's get into the supper time. I'm going to probably end it here. Um, Thanks for hanging out, guys. That's that really helps. I think we're gonna keep doing this. Um, uh, I'm gonna get Brody on next week. He should be around. He's he's a lot funnier than I am too, so that that'll help. He's he's always got some good ideas. Last week we were we we're talking about doing a podcast again and just seeing what uh, what options we had, and we just sort of screwed around for three hours and had a lot of fun. So he might just uh, carry that over here instead but we'll see we got options anyways um i'll finish this tonight i'm hoping this one's up tomorrow um i'm not sure if we're gonna move over to a uh, uh thursday a thursday update or if we're gonna keep it on wednesdays i like to post first thing in the morning we get the most eyeballs in the morning especially on reddit if you, if you post in the afternoon, it just gets missed and overlooked and no one really, no one sees it. So we shall see, but I will update you guys and let you know what's going on for next week. Thanks for hanging out. You guys are awesome. Where's my mouse? Create. Oh yeah. Yeah. On creative. That makes sense. Yeah. Good point. Maybe I'll do that. I'll work through a few things and. We'll do it. Let's go, pens. <laughs> Game time's an hour and a half. I uh, hope we, I hope we, someone smooths out McDavid along the boards. So that would be nice. <laughs> that kid is too good. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good